Welcome to my channel, Comic Book Noise, as we talk about my comic book company, Digital Noise, as we explain the characters and the storylines of the Digital Noise universe. I know I've been going for a long while, and uh, the reason being I've been working on projects, and uh, one of them is a film that I've worked on and produced and written and directed, and it's called Sketchy. I'm so happy to announce that uh, Sketchy is on two streaming channels, and um, one of the channels is called Mamitu, and um, that's a streaming channel that uh, is pretty uh, new, and it's pretty exciting, but they, they have a plethora of films, of other films, but I just want you to direct your attention to Sketchy. And um, you'll see it on the screen, the address to get to it, and um, you know, just look for my family to see it there. And another one is called Rewarded TV, which is a pretty innovative streaming channel. And it's kind of exciting and new, and I'm pretty honored to have my film, and it's a short film, which is very rare for a platform to take. And um, I'm very honored that they chose my film to be on their platform. And just other things I'm working on too, dealing with digital noise is concerned, is that I'm rebooting my whole comic book company universe. And um, the four titles that I'm coming out with uh, that I'm revamping, well, two of them I'm revamping, but four titles I'm coming out with. Um, one is Delete. Uh, the second one is the sound system. The third is uh, the positive omen. And the fourth is called Red Alert. The two comic books that I came out with before, uh, well, one of the four out of the four of the comic books I came out with before is called Delete. And Delete came out and was published in 2004. If you look back at my old titles, like Delete Number One, I'm gonna show you here. It, it came out in August, and it was in the, the first issue that I came out with, and it was Delete, this is the cover. It uh, made an impact kind of in the comic book industry, and I had a lot of write-ups about it. I was in periodicals about it. Uh, about my comic and it was kind of innovative during that time, you know, before, you know, it was ahead of all of the, you know, the push for African-American women that's happening now with Marvel and things like that with the MCU and all that. But this was delete during this time and it was kind of innovative at the time. And so... And what was special about Delete is was that um, during that time I created Delete because, you know, I wanted to do a new type of superhero uh, that was interesting and that was never told before in, in a strong way or didn't have their own type of title in kind of like a major comic book title. And that would be, she was the first African-American female to come out with her own series on a regular basis. There was like one or two, I think, during that time in 2004. I think one was called Knockout, and I think the other one, but Knockout was more, it looked like a tanned Pamela Anderson, which it looked like Pamela Anderson to me. You couldn't tell that she was African-American or anything. Um, and, um, I think, I can't remember the other, I think Storm had a limited series of like four issue type of thing. Uh, but there was no female character that would be, um, a staple uh, character that carried home comic book. And that was not the only special thing. The story and was original and different for any character, basically, because, um, I'll tell you what her premise of her powers are. Um, her powers are of a mixture of magic and technology. And that term of magic or that department of magic is called Magitech. 
it's a new developing power of magic that was has never been known throughout the universe or throughout history. Delete is basically a cyber witch. And so she has the power of technology and magic mix. And I don't want to explain too much more, but if you look back in the old issues of uh, Delete that I came out with in 2004, it'll explain everything. And that what I'll do is I'll do a separate video of that, which I've done before, but I think I need to do another video just based on her character herself and explain who her what her powers are the closer i get to coming out with the first issue and the first issue of the reboot issue which the the first issue of the title is called reboot uh that will be in 2024 i guess these four numbers are pretty magical for me so because in 2004 i came i came out with my first delete issue which is in 2004 and now I'm doing the reboot issue of the first issue of Delete in 2024. Uh, it's going to be a magical, I'm so proud and happy about coming out with this first issue of Delete. And um, I can tell you so many things are coming out with that issue. And uh, it's a new type of hero that... That you'll be interested in. I think it's going to be a new way of of seeing what a hero is, and uh, just to see how you could tell a story. And it just I, I won't spoil anything, but I'm just excited about it. But I I just wanted to create this video to let you know, especially for Women's History Month, that. Uh, um, coming out with Delete, the reboot issue number one. I hope you come along and tag along for, with me in the journey. Um, and it's going to be a very exciting and very overwhelming, beautiful journey of discovery of this character and of the digital noise universe. But anyhow, I hope you subscribe and I hope you like the channel. Or if you have any comments, just write them down below and let me know what you think. Uh, any questions you have about digital noise, I'll tell you as much as I can. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything when I come out with the issues or with the titles. And I'm working hard on those titles now and putting everything together this year. And there's so many surprises coming away in 2024 with digital noise. And, um, you know, just for the time being, stay safe, stay happy, and take care.